Hi, Hollywood Lifers. It's Bonnie, and I'm here with Kelly Ben Simone today from the Real Housewives of New York, and we're going to talk. We're going to actually take this opportunity to answer a bunch of questions that you've sent in for Kelly because she has great advice. She's got great advice about life and love and about careers and so she, she, I wanted her to share it with you because she has had an incredible career not only is she a star of the show but she's a jewelry designer and she's got other businesses she's written books um, she's modeled and you've got some other and happening things don't you um, yeah I just I just signed my fourth um, book deal which is with st. Martin's Press it's called um, I can make you hot so that's going to be released in 2012, which I'm really excited about. And is that an advice book? Um, I mean, it's a lifestyle book, so it's everything. Listen, if I can cook, anyone can cook, and I've got some great recipes in there, you know, health, nutrition tips, um, just and lifestyle tips. And, you know, some of it has to do with, you know, love, family, relationship, everything. And it's called I Can Make You Hot. It's called I Can Make You Hot. I love the title. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Now, that's, so that's perfect that you are giving advice. I just have to take my own advice. That's the thing. Okay. I can give it. I just have to take it. <laughs> okay. Well, with that said, we're going to start off with a really classic question here okay. from Justine, who's actually here in New York. And Justine mm -hmm. wants to know, what do I do if I'm dating a guy who won't fully commit to me? I really like him, but I know he's dating other girls. So do I go along with kind of the game, pretending that I'm dating other people too? Or do I, do I just give up and, and leave and find somebody else? Like, or is there a way to get him to just commit to me? I mean, let's be honest. Um, if a guy isn't committing to you, he's not committing to you, and he's not going to commit to you. There isn't like, oh, by the way, um, we're together. I'm seeing other people, but I'm going to be with you in five, you know, in, in a year. It's just not going to happen. It's just not. The eventuality is, you know, I'm sorry to say, but it's, you know, he's having fun. And he's not as in the same situation that you are. And so, you know, at the end of the day, it's most the most important thing in the relationship is to have self-respect. And I think that when you have self-respect and you won't allow those kind of relationships to happen in your life, then the people that you want to gravitate towards you will. Now, can I just ask you, when you first start going out with a guy, mm -hmm. I mean, often you might be still seeing other people and he might be so do you think like is that at a certain point like after you've gone out on a few dates and you know you really like him is it at that point that you have to make that decision if he's not given up like can it is it okay to let him date other people or go along with that for a certain period of time before you put the brakes on it I think you should always go into a relationship as it's as if it's like utopia which is like you know, it doesn't. You know, not not thinking about what they're doing, not thinking about what you're doing, just enjoying the moment for whatever it is, and, and you know, enjoying the time that you have with that person. I mean, in all honesty, this is a major life lesson. Life is short. I'm 43 years old, so if I don't take advantage or the people don't take advantage of what's happening right now, it's never going to happen again. So what do you do? Complain about it tomorrow? Be like, you know, he really. He really, really, you know, annoyed me, and I thought about it for, you know, 20 hours. Well, those are 20 hours you wasted. That was your choice. So, again, it's back to that self-respect. You know what? If you guys, you know, you're having a good time, you're meeting someone, you're having a good time, it's that, you know, courting period, and you're enjoying it, enjoy it for what it is, and it's going to evolve on its own. I mean, you know, people are always like, you know, take advantage of these opportunities, and, you know, that person, when you see them, go for it. Well, actual life it's an organic process. So if you just enjoy it, the people that you want to be around you are going to be like, I like her, rather than you being like, you know, desperate or him being desperate. Because a lot of men are as desperate as women. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like it's okay to kind of you let him date other people for a bit, but if at a, but after a certain period of time, if he's not giving up on, giving up on the other women, to just accept that, think about your self-respect realize that he's not going to change yeah. and then give him the ultimatum if he doesn't go along with it then move on right because you can tell too I mean you, no one wants to waste time and you can tell when a person isn't as responsive to the thing if a person isn't treating you like let's get together and making plans that's, I mean if a man isn't making plans with you he's not into you period if a man's like yeah you look great today that's not into you Mm -hmm. If he's not making plans, he doesn't want to spend time with you. Therefore, you're just like a tweet relationship, fa Facebook relationship. And you don't want to be that. You want to be someone's girlfriend. 
and you know you want him to want to come after you, you want him to chase after you because men are hunters and gatherers <laughs> and women are nurturers so you know, like you know like we need to get back to the basics I mean I think that we're all trying to be so modern but we should just really just do what is innately right okay so there you have it <laughs> I think that's excellent advice and I think it's spoken like with truth Mm -hmm. and not sentiment might and be a I'm hard like truth I am like that I mean people that I've dated in the past I was like listen this isn't working out and that doesn't mean that I don't like the person it's just it's not part of my you know my master plan and if they're not gonna be part of my master plan then you know we can be friendly but I can't you know engage them in, in a way that wouldn't be respectful to them because I wouldn't want to hurt their feelings and I don't want them hurting mine okay you've heard it now <laughs> <laughs> you <not> now, <laughs> don't let yourself be taken advantage of for too long. Um, and so, thank you very much. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you.